What's poppin' people? It's your boy Ganim, and welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're doing a little retail arbitrage, and we're gonna go to two big ass the stores, and hopefully, you know, we find some items we can resell on Amazon. Fingers crossed. But right now, we're locked down. We're in tier four. <clears throat> Boris Johnson is doing us dirty, but there's nothing we could do about it. You know, for everyone's safety. Obviously, I got my mask with me. You guys here and I have to care about my own safety as well and my brother's safety. You get what I'm saying? Um, yeah, hopefully, we find some nice items, make some money back. And yeah, for sure, tomorrow is New Year's Eve. It's doing? It's one fire. You got road rage, you know that. You got road rage. You need to relax. Tomorrow's New Year's Eve. Mm. And then. 2021 guys listen this year we have to secure the bag if you got any goals or anything put 110 percent in it man trust me you can't be putting 50 percent in and expect the results you want to be expecting you know what i'm saying work hard and trust me you'll reach your goals for sure but guys listen i'll see you all at asda Right now, right now, just finished with Asda. Mm, they didn't really have items that were enough profits for me to actually pick them up, but it is what it is. It was hella packed as well. I'm not gonna lie, too many people, and majority of the toys were gone. There must have been another seller before me, because some of the aisles were just empty. But it is what it is. We can't do nothing about that. It's cool though, right now. There's a b &M right next to this Asda. I'm gonna go there. And then we'll see what's popping there. And then after that, definitely gonna be going to uh, Asda for sure, for sure. See you soon. Right now we're at B&M. Hopefully we can find some nice items. Let's go. Right now we're in B&M, we're in the toy section. I've got my Amazon sellers app right here. And I'm just gonna start scanning. Let's go. This item right here is telling me I'm gated on this item, so. But people are selling it for 39 dollars 39 dollars 49 actually. But it's been a very good item, but unfortunately I've gated. Nothing we can do about that. But literally, this is just part of the literally resellers. This is what they do. We come to a store and just scan a random item. For like example, here, cost of $4.99. Give it a scan. And I'm. Um, Gators on it again. I'm restricted, so I can't sell this item. I don't understand why. Why is Amazon doing this to me? But sometimes you might be restricted on one puzzle. But yeah, there you go. So right here, you find a profitable item. There's free sellers. People are selling for seventeen ninety nine. Uh, let me go back. How do you go back? How do you go? Oh, cool. This is not my phone, guys. It's my little brother's phone. He's recording my phone. I'm using his phone. But yeah, still stay. But yeah, so the price is actually $4.99. So if I click on here. $4.99. We're actually making eight per profit. Not bad. But yeah, guys, listen. It's kind of annoying there's so many people in this store. It might have empty here in it, but behind us there's a lot of people and a lot of people. I don't want to be recording people's faces, you know what I'm saying? No, we're not going to be there. Two toy sections. What is this? This does not look like a toy. I I guess I don't know why they probably haven't replenished it or anything, I don't know. But that's kind of annoying. 
So we just came out B&M um, All the toys are out because It's a Christmas, you know what I'm saying? So that's why they're some Like, there are supposed to be three toy aisles There's only one toy aisle The other two sold out They don't have no stock of them toys Ask her when the next delivery is She doesn't know But it is what it is I'll be coming back soon And we're back in the car As the Majority of toys were actually gone, so I'm trying to scan some, didn't find any how profitable. Then went to BM, which is right next door to Asda. Um the light. Mm. But BM as well, all the toys were literally gone. Two aisles were gone. So that's fine though, but I did ask the lady when the next uh delivery date is. And she said, um, she says she doesn't know. So, and she says she doesn't know. So, it's all good. I'll just come back another time, but for sure. But obviously, I was thinking maybe after Christmas, you know, they might have delivery. You know, all the big stores. But does it look like it? But you know, it's worth a try. Right now, we're going to another Asda, which is, which is a lot bigger than this one. So hopefully that one will have at least some items, you're going to say. I'm not trying to go home empty-handed, you know what I'm saying? Maybe the puzzles, I should have picked them up, maybe. But because of the seller rank, I really don't like touching items that are over 150k rank, you know what I'm saying? Because I just want my items in and out, quick sales, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be holding my items there for like a month. Let's say if I bought like 10 of those puzzles, I don't want one or two just to sell a month, you get what I'm saying? I'm trying to get rid of all ten within one month, you get what I'm saying? But other people would, put, uh, would have probably picked it up. Me personally, I don't do that. I don't like it. I just want my items quick. I, you already know, I'm off my profits, you get what I'm saying? But yeah, for sure. Um, Yeah, that's for now, that's all I have. Right now, I'm going to grab something to munch and then we'll all see you at the other as the let's go right, this number two i'm going to start scanning right so i tried to find some toys i scanned a couple there's literally no items are profitable which is weird fam but it is what it is i'll see you guys back at home and we're back at home now today's day mm, it was kind of an l but kind of new mm, did I I didn't do you know I, in my brain I was thinking yeah let me just go to check these shops because you never know maybe they replenish it after Christmas you know I know a lot of people you know be buying presents for their loved ones and everything so I thought maybe you know after Christmas after Boxing Day they might replenish it so the stock will be freshly done but no when Asda number one uh, it was packed with people uh, the people well, maybe like there was no coronavirus, I don't know what the hell was going on there. Nothing there, no toys, maybe one, two, power play, power profit. But I told you guys already, it has to be at least double the amount I spend in profit. You know what I'm So if I buy an item for three pounds, it has to make me back at least six pounds or above that. You know what I'm saying? Um, b and &M, &M, there's three toy aisles. Two of them were literally like they just restocked it with random products like toilet paper and stuff like that like all of the two aisles of toys were gone sold out those two aisles were empty no toys and then there was one aisle i checked i saw a couple of items i was gated on which is very annoying i'm trying to get ungated in a lot of toys categories this year coming i'll be talking about my 2021 goals very soon uh yeah and then i found a puzzle puzzle eight pound profit uh it was five pounds eight pound profit but the sellers rank was very high so that basically means kind of a slow beaver it could have been worse i'm not gonna lie I've, I've never sold an item from two 298k i think it was i've never set up item like that i've sold 201 and it took me probably like a month to sell and i had two of those items so if it's 289 so imagine it'll probably take me like at least a month and a half but yeah B&M was kind of dead as well. Uh, their new stock is coming very soon, so when their stock comes in, I'm going to go there for sure. And then as the number three is the place where I found the Bakugan. Uh, if you've been watching my videos, 
them back guys I got them for 40p and I was selling them on Amazon for three pounds sixty and I was making one pound and forty back I think and I bought 75 of them I was eating I'm not gonna lie to you all them back of good guns very nice and I, I literally just bought 75 or 40 piece yeah nice little that was a nice little return as the number three as I was saying was kind of dead as well but it is what it is you know, the majority of the shops all the toys were gone all the best toys are, are gone you know what I'm saying the sellers like me that come in there's people that are buying for their friends and family you know what I'm saying so I understand but it is what it is I know where, uh, when we do come out this lockdown right now in tier 4 and apparently we, now we're going to tier 5 I know what tier 5 is but apparently I've been hearing 8pm curfew nah nah that can't be happening that can't be happening but yeah we never know I think he's talking tomorrow New Year's Eve so hopefully we come out of this lockdown and I can start hitting TK Maxx you all already know TK Maxx has been doing me justice like if you ask me what shop has done you like made me the most money in return I'll say TK Maxx so when we come out of this lockdown I'm hitting every TK Maxx in the 15 miles radius I'm hitting every single one of them because TK Maxx literally I'm already out of stock of all my items literally I sent in like how much was it worth like a hundred and thirty pound hundred and forty send them in all within two weeks everything was gone and I'm trying to go back TK Maxx tier 4 but there's nothing we could do about the you know what I'm saying 2021 I'm trying to really go hard on my Amazon for sure right now the numbers I'm hitting I'm hitting only giving 50% you know what I'm saying so if I do give 110% I know I'll be able to hit at least 5 10k a month on Amazon uh, that's what those are my goals literally for 2021 I'm trying to hit 10 5 5 to 10k a month uh, in revenue and then just say 50% or 45% will be profit. So if I do make five, uh, 5k in a month, 4.5. Wait, what? If I do make 5k a month, it will be 2.5k you know, profit. And then if I make 10k, it will be 5k profit. And then, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Literally just grow, grow, grow. Also, for all of you who do watch me, I appreciate all of you who watch me on YouTube. Um, it means a lot. Trust me, guys, man. And listen, you guys already know. If you want any help, let me know. Message me on my Instagram, I'll help you personally. Guys, listen, 2021, we have to help each other, fam. I'm not gonna lie, I'm about to make a Discord group uh, for resellers uh, like you. If you are interested in reselling, this reseller group will be a group chat with a lot of resellers in, and they can just share their advice, tips, and anything, you know what I'm saying? for example like say for example i go to an asda and i find a hot product but there's only two in here i can take a picture of it and send it in the group chat and say are oh, you guys if you find this product pick it up you know what i'm saying you probably figure why would i do that this that this that because look end of the day if we don't share with each other someone else will take the profits you know what i'm saying so at least you know we can help each other you know secure the bag but those are my goals and then hopefully, you know, make enough money for 2021 to start investing into property. Your boy's trying to grow. You get what I'm saying? I'm trying to leave the hood. But for sure, man, that's that's been my main goal, you know, trying to um, invest in property. Properties are an asset and it will increase the value as well. But. For sure, I'm not trying to mortgage it, guys. Uh, just to let you all know, you know, I'm trying to do the rent to rent uh, service accommodation, so renting a house and then rent out to uh, other people. You know, say so that's what I'm trying to do. And yeah, hopefully, once I get my little bit up, my little bit of money up, invest into a property, and we take it from there. Because one thing I learned is once you do one thing once. You do that 10 times and then 10 times that you're know saying guys i want to appreciate all of you for <coughs> watching my content subscribing liking and everything i started my youtube channel in august i think 
and and literally uh, a month before that I started reselling so I'm actually quite new to this as well I haven't even done this for a year I've been doing this for seven months now and I'm growing I'm growing every single month I'm just growing 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 and guys this just shows you it is possible to start right now you know what I'm saying but my YouTube channel right now we're on 371 subscribers I want to thank all of you for subscribing that that means a lot to me guys you know what I'm saying me outside let me just document my journey um, uh, reselling and I was like if people want to watch me they can watch me if they don't want to watch me they don't need to watch me yet me it's, it's a free country you can do what you want to do but yeah I appreciate all of you uh, I wish you all a happy new year guys and it's been your boy Gaddy and I'm out